chunks of me You're a shark and I'm swimming My heart still thumbs as I bleed It's taken me five years to get back to climbing E7 again because I had a really bad accident just after the last one. I smashed my ankle to bits and I've had a couple of surgeries including an ankle fusion. What are you doing there, Kev? Is that in case they run away? <laughs> as long as they don't tell me they're running away, that's fine. You were saying they're scouts or bomber. Are you falling onto scouts a lot? No. I don't intend to, but I'm trying to convince myself that they're bomber. <laughs> I don't really want to be standing thinking, no, nah, that gear's shit, that's never going to hold. In my mind. Those things are like climbing in bolts. <laughs> There's one point in this route at my left hand, like the scar line there, like kind of folds onto a smear, which isn't enough to like hold, but it's enough to give me a bit of tension downwards while I slap through. But as I slap through, left foot comes off. So basically, the kind of main point of contact I've got is this like tiny, really bad, polished smear from my right foot. If Kev's leading, are you going to be belaying today, Steve? Yeah, yeah, it's exciting stuff. I'll be belaying Kev and watching him. I have no issues with it at all. So, yeah, <laughs> excited. <laughs> no bother, man, no bother. That's fine until he pings off that crux and comes flying down the slab. <laughs> Kev's not going to have any bother on it, are you, man? Triangles are my favourite shape. Me points where two lines meet. Toe to toe, back to back. Let's go, my love is very late. Till morning comes. Let's desolate. I just feel like I need to keep coming back and doing that kind of climbing because that's what appeals to me. I don't see the point in coming back to climbing and doing something lesser than what I did before because that's just as good as like quitting. There's no point in that. I mean for me climbing is always about trying to improve what I've done before, trying to see if my hand will be able to you know, get better but if I can make it do things that it's never done before. I mean it has a lasting meaning because it was like a first ascent and you get to name it, so it's it's something really special when you get the right team of folk, the right conditions, your headspace is where it needs to be to be doing these things. It's not like you can just say, I'll do that next Wednesday or whatever, so when they do happen, it's so special. I knew for a fact there was, no, there was nothing in my mind that said, this is where you could fall. There was not a single point. The only point that I thought, I might kind of blow it up, it was on the technical crux, and I knew I would just get injured. It's not like I would die, so I can still justify it. Like sometimes I do stand and think, right, I know how much this can hurt if I fall, but at the same time, the main overriding memory of any climbing, when I've done stuff that was important to me, is the kind of joy afterwards and that feeling of satisfaction, whatever it is that you get for doing stuff like that. That's what I remember. I don't remember the pain. I remember the good stuff. I don't kind of really dwell on the, the pain side of it. Hold feels. Oh. I'm glad. A lot of work. What's I work? Five years of waiting to get back to that again. Oh. Five years. Just as late. Okay.